You see, when you take this stuff literally, and you think that Jesus was the only resurrected Savior, he wasn't. Mary was the only virgin to give birth to the Son of God. She wasn't. But when you take... There's some serious... I'll say this, guys, real quick. There's some serious fallen angel, the watchers type stuff going on with this place and what's going on. Like, I really feel that. What, uh... Um, oh, man. What, what's his name was saying? He was just up here on the last stream. So I'm going to say this. Because you never know, you know, I could die tonight. Uh, oh my god, I just forgot his name. What the fuck is going on? Let's continue the video. Well, yeah, what I was going to say, there's some serious, I don't know, Fallen Angel, there's some serious The Watchers and who's controlling this realm. And I really, I've always said, I said it last year, and I really feel that the true war begins once we leave this body, my friends. And it does. I know that in my heart and soul. Um, and this whole trap thing, it's like that's kind of what this place has become. And there's something about the afterlife that is also programmed by the same entities in a way. The near-death experiences, the afterlife, that outer layer of this space-time is obviously controlled by the same entities that's controlling this world. And what made me realize something, I have a huge epiphany, was that egg video when the guy was talking to him in the afterlife and he said, we, I can't, we can't keep going on about it. We got to hurry up and get you back down there because if you stay here long enough, that's what it was. If you stay here long enough, you'll start remembering everything. That's super deep because it seems as though we get a mind wipe here, right? We get this mind wipe which there's something that makes sense about it, but there's something that's not right about it. And then it seems like there's the same type of mind wipe type stuff programming going on in the afterlife as well, right? Because when he said, um, we need to hurry because you're going to start remembering everything if you stay here long enough. Now, when you watch all the near-death experiences, all the people that go, um, you know, before they started their next life, that in-between of each life, it's like these entities are around them and trying to make them feel guilty and things like that and trying to push them into the next life. Like they're like, okay, hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right? So something tells me, guys, that we deal with another mind wipe and they in the afterlife, they want to, they don't want to keep us there for long. They want us to jump right back in because once whatever's going on wears off. We're going to know the truth. Okay. So I'm here to get the information to obviously help me in this physical life. I get that. But the afterlife in that war, I want to know. I want to be prepared for that because these motherfuckers that are controlling this world, we're waking the fuck up. What's going on? You evil son of a bitches. And the point of this message is, in mysticism, the hidden meaning of it is that no one can speak with the Christ unless they go within. I'm telling you guys, there's something with this stuff and people different. I'm telling you, the same people or the same entities, whatever they are, I, I just feel it deeply, guys, like that whatever they are, and how they're controlling the fabric of this reality. Like they have us at a point to where we're kind of not aware of our power. So we're using it to manifest their future, things like that. Right. But it's like, okay, so these near death experiences, the afterlife stuff, all these people are seeing like their God appear and different entities appear and kind of, you know, talk with them and stuff like that. Well, it shows you that the same programming that's here is also in the spirit realm in the afterlife, guys. They're in control of that too. So my biggest message is there's multiple layers that we're gonna have to break free of. It's not just this one. You don't just exit the body and now you're floating around with Jesus because you said you're my savior and stuff like that. And then other people are in hell and you're cozy with God and it's gonna be rainbows and butterflies. No, people, I'm telling you right now, what we're doing right now is just an appetizer to what's coming. Okay, the world, once you, you better fucking, you're going to be doing some James Bond shit to really get out of this place. 
because I know a lot of us here are done with it. We are done with this place, you know. This isn't home. It doesn't feel right. Something's not right, right? Well, we have much work to do outside of here, guys. The same motherfuckers controlling this reality is going to be controlling the afterlife too, all right? I'm telling you, that's... I'm telling you, I just know it 100%. I just feel it deeply. What's up, Salty Siren? And when you said someone was trying to rush you into the light, to the next life, made me remember just that. I already remember getting chased into this realm. And that that's the thing with that. I can't play that egg video because they copyrighted it. Like, they'll shut the stream down like they did last time. But when the dude said, we need to hurry up because you're going to start remembering, it's like, wow, we deal with another mind wipe after this life. That's some deep shit, guys. These entities have done some crazy shit to this world. And it's not just this world. This is spirit realm, too. There's multiple layers we're going to have to shadow through, my friends. But hanging on to what... And they played a part in all of this. All these stories, all the scriptures, all that. They know the people so well. They have the data. This internet, and just think of the AI data machine that's collecting all the data in real time. Hold on a second. Um, now, I know we don't subscribe to the globe. I get that, right? Okay, I already know that. Okay, well, this is what they say it is, right? This is our earth. It's a flat earth. I get it. Whatever. They're lying about the shape. Let's not get caught up into that. They have mere worlds of our worlds. These top entities, right? And it has everything, everyone in it, every leaf that falls in real time. Okay, so they can see everything, right? And in that world, this is the practice world. Don't get caught up in the shape. They practice events, different things, speed up time, rewind time, and they know exactly, they practice your every move. That's why you got to break the patterns. They, the AI is practicing, not just the AI, the, the Google AI and this stuff. I'm talking about the top AI that isn't, like you can't even fathom this shit where all the data is going. Not just people, this is deep stuff. Um, the AI is practicing on you every second to, to see if it gets right on your every move. And it learns all the time to get everyone so predictable so it knows exactly what moves to push. And now rewind to the beginning of these religions. Same thing. They knew... They had the data. They knew exactly what scriptures to organize, what stories to bring back, what stories worked for them manifesting the reset, all this stuff. And now we're doing it again. Same fucking loop, guys. I'm telling you, it's deep stuff going on. Of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. The word of God is not the Bible. And everyone get in the afterlife, the near does everyone gets their little setting of, you know, whatever it might be based on their beliefs here. I'm telling you, people, these people are controlling so much more than we can imagine. Everyone gets their own settings of their God, their loved ones, different things. They know you so well. They know the data so well that this AI machine creates this setting for you even in the afterlife, my friends. Think about that. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought you have the true God. It just knows what you believe in here in the physical. And it creates a setting for you in the afterlife to coax you back into the trap, my friends. Wow. We really got to break free, break the patterns, break all the, all the stuff, guys. Please. It's the only way out of here. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Wow.